What's up everybody, it's Eddie Kip here, back here with you guys in today's video. I'm in the tower, yep, doing it well, and uh, basically I'm going to show you where Zer is, what he's telling. If you guys don't know, like I said before, Zer is in the tower, and he is over here by the Dead Orbit and Future World Call factions, and he is selling a couple good guns, well only one gun, but a couple good pieces of armor that I definitely suggest buying, along with the gun too. Honestly, this is a really good uh, Zer. Uh, I guess you can call it a loot table um, that we're getting today and honestly he's selling really good stuff that if you have a legendary marks to buy you should buy in fact he has the gun that I'm wearing on my back I forgot the name I'm pretty sure it's knuckleberry though and it's a really good gun it has a lot of good perks on it and uh, yeah I'll get into that once I show you what he's selling so let's get right into that So he is selling Knuckleberry, or the Huckleberry as it's called, and it's a 343 attack, it requires level 26, it's a submachine gun, and it has a special perk of Ride the Bull. It increases rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger, kills with this weapon, reloads a portion of the magazine. Now if you pair that with the special perk that it has, it, it does a lot of damage on top of the initial damage, which the special perk is the kills with this weapon temporarily grants an increased damage stacks up to three times. So this is a really good gun for PvP and PvE. Uh, also we got the transverse steps at 343. These are pretty good for the Warlock, they've been around for a long time. Uh, it's, a, it's a thing, it's a personal preference if you want those. They look really flashy though. Uh, we also got the Peacekeepers for the Titan. These are actually really good. These reload stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. That's really good for PvE and definitely recommend. Then lastly we got the Dragon Shadow. This is for the Hunter and this is a special chest plate because it kind of looks like the Iron Banner chest plate but it's an exotic. Uh, and that's a 343 defense and it has a special perk of dodging reloads all weapons increases both movement and weapon handling speed for a brief time it's pretty awesome there's zero recovery sadly but there's a lot of resilience and mobility uh for consumables we got three of coins these are if you're looking for an exotic and you want more to drop you uh equip one of these and also we got a five of swords challenging card this is for an event that if you well, if you want, enables the modifiers and a nightfall strike for prestige difficulty. It's actually really good, especially if you're looking for a special uh, item. So, yeah. And then lastly, we got the Ishorno Ingram, whatever. It's a 338 Ingram. If you buy this, it could give you a random exotic that you don't have already. For example, we got these right here that I don't have. Well, I have all of them except for one. Anyway. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe.